Guys, today's the fire alarm review today of April 4th, 2024. So right here is this pull station. Well, this is uh, an Edwards pull station. I had super glue it because it's the the lock seems sticking out. So now let's get this started. So this um, pull station is an Edwards pull station. This one's an AS, this one's an Edwards Sega. And yeah, the only difference that I found was the wires, but this one's broken. Look on the back. But now this, let's review it. So this uh, pull station is the fire alarm. So this fire alarm pull station can be yellow, which means called the manual release pull station. So all, all you can see this this thing right here. So you simply want to do is go up to go up to the alarm. It says lift and pull handle, and it says pull for fire. There, and then so um, the so um instead of this instead of this part right here. It's gone. It will say pull for fire, but you guys find this. So you simply want to do is lift here and pull for fire. And you'll go ahead and reset it. And let's reset it like this. Now, now your pulse station is reset. Okay, now we'll go ahead and just see how to install this pulse station. I mean, um, to install the brake rod, but I do not have a brake rod. I already broke one like three three years ago. So I was like, it was like I was like 11 years old, and I break the glass 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 rod. So I just lift here, pull it really hard. But yeah, so the way to um to put in the glass rod, I'm gonna show you the inside to put it in. You'll see this little thing right here. You'll see there's a, this is where you're going to place in your glass rod right here. And then now this would be really hard to pull. So yeah. Now let me let, let me go ahead and close it. Okay. Okay, now we're going ahead to see how to install the unit on the wall. So you simply want to do is going to have the bat box on the wall. So the bat box meaning one of these like this is this back box like i this is i think this is no um yeah i think this is one i think that's this back box so um so 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 here so this thing um let's say this is the back box um so you still be one what i'm gonna say to you so let's say um if you so here's your back box so hold on so um, so you're gonna have the wall right here with your wires coming through. Now you'll take this, get the get your flathead screwdriver and insert these two holes right here in, into these two ter terminals here. Now you simply, which um, if, if those are secure, you're gonna open up your device. So you're gonna take two screws. You're gonna take two screws here. Is get your packets of screws and just open it. Like open it, get your packets of screws. One and two. Two. Two screws. So you and also that you're gonna take your screw, like you have to find where the hole is. Then you can tight tighten it. So, yeah, let me just tighten it. So, you simply want to do is just tighten the pull station screw, and now you can make it tighter, tighter, and tighter. Okay, so this could be it. So, yeah. So that's this. Okay, now back. So this pull station right here is red. So um, so this I already, so the only difference is sticker. The Edward sticker I already took it off, but okay. So you simply want to do to pull it to activate the alarm. You want to do the system test. Once again, lift here and pull for fire, and it will activate. Now to reset, it, you're gonna take your Cat Forty Five keys, and you simply place in the key and normal and then now it's 
now it's reset. Now I I'm gonna show you a look at the inside again. So basically, um, when you like, so basically when you pull down this pull station, it and and you open it. So he, here's that little switch right here. This is a switch. You put it down back to normal, and then you close it. Or if you want to key activate it, which I'm going to show you now. So to key activate, it's get the same thing as pulling the fire alarm. You simply want to do is stick your key in, turn it to the left. And open it and you're gonna activate activate the switch like this and it, it will activate and you put that switch put that switch back to normal so here's that thing too you're gonna see this little thing right here which is called this flathead screwdriver lock that could be fit in it I have one pole station with with it so I have one pole station one the one that has the lock out lock that has a lock on top so you simply want to do to open up the pull station is get your keys, open it. I mean, open it. So if you if you pull this like really hard, you can't take it. You cannot take it out when it's unlocked. It it will break the lock because I have super glue on it. It will ruin it. So I would never mess around with one of these pull stations. So you simply want to do to wire it is you need to get. Get your now get your flathead screwdriver and you simply want to do is just unscrew these three screws here one two and three screws. Well, let me and after that you can untie them. Untie them like I said. So, yeah. But. Do a tighter. So we'll be looking at the model number right here. So this model number of this unit. Um, hold on, this unit, twenty-seven AP eleven twenty. Yep, got it right. So, so let's let's so let's read in the inside of this device. So you simply want to do to go to the inside of the unit is get your keys, and you simply open is so after that so. Basically, when you stick your key in in there, you open up the device right here and turn it and open it, and it will say to test remove glass rod, which means basically when you pull it, it will break the glass rod, and and you make sure to pull the lever in normal. So basically, when the pull station, so basically when the pull station is pulled, it will activate, and also to reset it, you can um flip down that switch. And it will say, um, um, eliminate the alarm when system when provide test key switch. Um, I don't know. So this, this is the key switch. So, so this lock is the key switch. And... So, and, and also that replace the glass raw pull, pull station cover. So basically when you pull it, once again, so basically when you pull down this pull station, uh, it will, it will break the glass rod and you put a new one in. And this station must be tested and installed for six months. So, in six months, this pull station can be installed. Once again... So once again, to install this, your bat box, like which is one of these, of course this thing fits. And then yeah. Oh, it's stuck. Okay. So, so, so basically when you pull down this, hold on, I'm looking at the inside again. And then this unit is not used or serviceable if the pull station fails. So basically when the pull station is failing, basically when you pull it, it doesn't let you to activate it again. So um 
So let's say if the unit isn't working, let me, which I'm gonna ask. So let's say if this um, pull station doesn't work, I think you immediately replace the new one. So on the wall. So I'm gonna show you this right now. So this pull, if this pull station doesn't work, um, that means it's um, it's dead, and then you have to replace the new pull station. Like it should be like a notifier BG12 LX, which I never had in my whole collection. So you simply want to do to replace your pull station is open up your device once again and then you unscrew these two screws there and then your pole station has been gone off the wall yeah and just so you simply want to do to take this thing out you simply open up the device open up the device which i'm going to show you now so this pole station's Are these two holes right here? These are for the screws. The screwdriver, the one you can take it out. But I can't take this out. But, I don't know. So, um... Yeah, this one's managed. So I'm gonna show you on the back side. So just so you're gonna count all the terminals. One, two, three, four terminals. And we have this whole holes. And I saw these I saw these one. So I saw these one in the movie theater and also at the Blaze Pizza. So Yeah, so lift here and so you simply wanna do you have to press that button by pulling it again. Lift here. Pull for fire, then reset it. Flip down that switch, and that's your pull switch to reset. So to activate it, it's just once again lift here, pull for fire, and let's go ahead and reset this pull station simply by resetting it. Oh, is it? Oh, the keys. So that's the review about this pull station here. Um, the key? Oh, the key's here. But, thank you guys for watching.